okay, playability. Well, we have this very slim neck and uh, a very, very flat radius. Uh, I have no idea. They don't tell on the homepage, but it's... You don't really see a radius even. Uh, so I'll say it's like 16 inches or something. It's very flat. And the action is... <laughs> I've never seen action this low. It's really low and... When I checked for, uh, like, if the neck bow was right, it's, in theory, this wouldn't even be playable. But it is, for strange reasons. It's very, there's really no buzzing. I mean, a little, but nothing compared to another guitar. So, playability, I don't have anything more to say. It gets a nine. It's very easy to get around. And this was long before the slim next from Ibanez and ESP. Okay, electronics. Let's talk about the black magic that goes on down here. Um, this is a regular three-way switch, the one you'd find on any Les Paul style guitar. And as I said, volumes and tones, hmm? basic stuff. We have these custom 58 pickups uh, that are, as I said, Hackstrom's own. And then we have this magical thing, uh, which is uh, in the middle, it's bypassed, but uh, there are like a regular three-way switch. There, it has three positions and in the down position, it's supposed, supposed to be a high mid filter. And in the up position, it's just a high filter. In reality, I will show it when I go through the sounds. Uh, my experience is that when it's down, it's just a slight, like if you use the tone knobs and just turn it down a bit. And if it's up, it's like if you turn the tone knob off. And to my surprise, it's actually usable. I thought it was a bad thing. Uh, they don't have it on the super suites. And with the tone and volumes, you get the same thing as with other Chinese Far Eastern guitars. Uh, the volumes, no problem, work great. The tones, well, you can turn them down and nothing really happens until 10. Or right before, oh, sorry, zero. Right before zero. And... Um, I don't know where this is. I'm sure the original suite didn't work like that. And then the, this actually comes in handy because with this you can actually get usable things that you would do regularly do with a tone knob. So you can get like halfway and full. And this doesn't really do the trick. So Electronics, it gets a seven. Okay, now it's time to try it out then. Um, so you'll get to hear the different filters. I'll, I think I'll try that on the clean. I'll do the clean sounds first and uh, I'll show with a bridge pickup. I'll show, show the filters. Mm, yeah, I might, I, I'll see, I might do it on the other settings as well. So yeah, from bridge to middle position to neck pickup position. I'll go through all the sounds, but I'll start off showing the tone filters. So here's the clean sound. <laughs> That's with it bypassed and uh, here's the high mid filter. And here with the high filter. <laughs> and 
and again bypassed. <laughs> drive. Finally, a high gain lead sound. filter as well okay I like these pickups uh, and I like the sound of the guitar actually um, compared to I like to compare it to the Epiphone 
styles poles and this is um, tone sound wise it's much better uh, I think it has more high end it has some I don't know uh, more defined clearer mid and yeah to me it sounds like a less pole should sound like so sounds nine um yeah so if you take all that together a uh, very playable neck a good sound uh, it's a great guitar 8.2 um i really like it and uh, i think i actually might get one of these i like it i liked it so much even when i just picked it up of the case oh uh, the case by the way to show this. Oops. You get a hag bag included. And this is a proper, even if it's a gig bag. Really solid stuff. Included in the price. Way to go. Why don't all companies do that? So, yeah. If you want a less poly guitar and you don't have the, the Gibson kind of money. I should get this one, if I were you. And as I said, I might get one myself, actually. Okay, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd uh, reviewing uh, Hagstrom uh, uh, Swede. Their version of a Les Paul guitar. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Bye.